Something a little bit different today on shearing season. We've done this bead before, but today it's a head to head. We have Ollie and we have Giant, two massive Valley Black Nose Rams. And we're gonna find out which one takes the longest to shear. That's how we'll decide the winner. Come on, giant. Come on, big lad. Let's do this. The trick with these big guys is to try and throw them off balance. Oh. Oh. <sighs> Doddle. Right, big man, we're gonna try and tip you up. But you've got an awkward shaped horn. I'm just not as easy to get in there, but let's try it. Oh. Hey. Hey, this man can. Right. You ever seen him tipped up that easy, Tom? Doddle. Right. I'm not used to using this handpiece. We're gonna try it today. And we are off. Now you will notice I'm using a slightly different technique for both rams. With Giant, we are starting with his head to see if that makes it easier. And with Ollie, we are straight in to the front leg as I would normally do. Now, whilst this looks like Ollie has a massive head start and an unfair advantage, I still have to shear his head. So I'm pretty sure Giant will catch up there. I don't want to speak too much during this shear because I'm very Scottish and very difficult to understand, even when I'm making a huge effort to speak properly as I am just now. So I'll keep the voiceover to a minimum and let you enjoy the shearing. That is a very bad boy. This is the tricky bit, I'm always worried about them standing up here, but I think we've made it. And a bonus, we've done the head. So straight up the neck. And as Giant catches up with Ollie, it is now neck and neck. Pun definitely intended. Now because their horns are so tight, we just can't get all the way around their horns, so we do the best we can and get the rest with a pair of scissors later. This is far closer than I imagined it would be, and it's going to be incredible to see who comes out on top. Who is the toughest ram to shear? Going big lad, you're all right. Are you just thinking about giving a little kick there? Will it be Ollie? Will it be Giant? We're about to find out. Heavy, just trying to lift his head to do these last long blows. His head weighs a ton. Oh, steady, boy.
Oh, it's just a tricky spot here. Do I put his head through my legs or not? Go on, big boy. We're getting a bit messy now because he's he's almost beat me. Right, big boy, I'll bring the head back through, I'm sorry, I tried it, you're too big for me. Ooh. Oh, you're big. Oh, you're big. I can see why they call you giant. Oh, big lad. Coming down this last side and we're on the last few strokes, it really is neck and neck. Who's going to be finished first here? Ah, oh, looks like all he's got it by three seconds. Although I think I've done him a bit unfair there, Giant. That could have been a draw if I had known it was so close. Wow. Even I'm excited by that finish. Done. Oh. I can see why they call him giant. That is a long time bent over with that much weight on you. My back's gone already. Now, usually I pride myself on not having any cuts, but they do happen. Although in this case, it was due to a little wart he had here. And a little wart here, these aren't the usual places you would cut a sheep because your, your sheep's stretched out nice on a full blow. It's a couple of warts there. Looks worse than it is. A little bit of antibiotic spray, he'll be fine. It's like cutting yourself shaving. That's why I don't shave. I just can't believe how close that was. Giant and Ollie, two massive Valley Blacknose Rams, really put me to the test. But with a winning margin of just seven seconds, it was Giant who turned out to be the toughest ram to shear. It's crazy to think that this little guy could grow into something so huge. That was a close contest, but Giant just picked it. I hope you've enjoyed this one, cheering fans. We'll see you for the next one. Come on, back to mum. So by far the biggest question we get is, what weight was the fleece? Well, let's find out. So I've, I've zeroed it with the bucket on top and we'll stick it in here so we can get a fair weight. Here we go, what weight is this fleece? 3.144 kilos. So Giant's fleece weighs 3.144 kilos. Let's see how Ollie matches up. Now I can tell straight away this one's lighter. And the main reason for that will be Ollie is seven years old. The older they get, the thinner the wool gets. A bit like us humans. 2.290 kilos. Almost a kilo of difference, which is quite a lot considering they both look about the same size standing next to each other.